Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my evening pregnancy routine. I am 38 weeks pregnant and I've been doing this routine for probably the last several weeks in the evenings. It's just a great way to relax and wind down and also to prepare for labor. I start out by washing my face with this Pacifica Coconut Milk Creamy Face Wash. I normally use the coconut water one, but um, I decided to try a different um, variety this time, and I really like them both. It does a great job of taking off my makeup. For my evening facial moisturizer, I use this Acure Argan Oil. I get this at Sprouts and I really love the way it makes my skin feel. It's not really greasy, it absorbs into my skin really nicely and just really moisturizes it. So after I'm finished washing my face and just getting comfy, I get my comfy clothes on, which usually is my pajamas and my yoga pants. And then I go downstairs and I do what's called the miles circuit. And it's basically three different exercises to help prepare your body for labor and get baby in a good position. And it's about 30 minutes per um, position here. And so this one here is like a forward inversion. So I just get really comfy on a pillow and have my knees up really high. And I hold this position for about 30 minutes. And this is to help the baby um, kind of move out of the pelvic bone area a little bit and kind of get in a better position. The second exercise, it usually takes me a while to get comfy here, but it's an exaggerated side laying um, position where you have your knee up really high on the side propped up with lots of pillows. And like I said, it takes me a while to get kind of comfy here. And I usually watch some YouTube videos while laying here, um, but it's so relaxing and I could seriously fall asleep like this. Basically these exercises are to help prepare your body for labor and help encourage the baby to get in the right position. Miles was not in a very good position so I'm trying really hard to do these so that way baby girl is in a good position and I can have a better labor. Before I begin the third exercise circuit which is a more active exercise, I like to start preparing some um, third trimester tea. I like the um, Earth Mama Angel Baby third trimester tea. It has red raspberry leaf and a bunch of other stuff just to kind of help tone your uterus and um, prepare your body for labor. So while my water is boiling and that is all getting ready, I go over to the stairs and I start the third circuit. There's a couple different exercises here that you can do and the one that I like to do because we have stairs is to do the side step and just go up two at a time. This one here kind of makes me out of breath so I try to do it slowly and um, I switch sides so that way I can, you know, evenly work on both sides. But basically this kind of opens your hips up a little bit to help encourage the baby to move down further in the pelvic area. I pretty much only do each side about two, maybe three times, because like I said, it makes me kind of out of breath. And if you're not super in shape, then yeah, your legs can get a little bit sore. But I just try to do it slowly and um, it really feels good to just kind of open up the hips. So this mild circuit exercising that I do is not at all for helping you get in shape, it's just to help prep for labor and get baby in a good position like I said earlier. What I do to help keep myself in shape is to walk about a mile and a half three days a week and I usually do that in the mornings. That is also a great way to help keep baby in the right position and to prepare your body for labor. So that's what I do for my workout in the mornings and then this is more relaxing and preparation for labor. Here I started having a Braxton Hicks contraction so I just kind of paused and waited it out because it was a little bit painful and I didn't really feel like doing the stairs while my contraction was going so I just waited till it passed and then I continued on.
while my tea is steeping, I like to finish out the last half of the third circuit because it's about 30 minutes each, and I like to spend the rest of the time on the birthing ball. And this right here is my favorite position on the birthing ball because it allows my belly to just kind of hang there, and it kind of gets baby girl out of my lungs because I have a really hard time breathing in the evenings because it seems like she's so high up in my lungs. So I just kind of do some um, exercises on here just to kind of help move her down and it just feels really nice on my hips and it also allows me to breathe a lot better. Then I like to sit on top of my birthing ball and drink water, ice cold water, and my hot tea and just kind of browse Facebook or watch YouTube or something. Usually by this point my husband is done with school and ready to just hang out in the basement and watch Netflix or something and so I'll usually take the birthing ball down there and just sit down there and watch TV. But with this I just like to do a little bit of bouncing and just kind of hip circles and swaying just to help open up my hips so comfortable if you've never done a birthing ball or exercise ball while you're pregnant I highly recommend it um, because it is just so comfy at about 10 o'clock I am so tired and ready for bed so I take my big mug here of ice cold water and it keeps it cold all night long um, so that way I can drink water in the middle of the night when I wake up and then I brush my teeth, I put my hair back, and then I also like to use this magnesium lotion. Um, it's from Earthly, I'll link it down below. It's a really great product. When you have magnesium in a lotion form like this, it's actually easier for your body to absorb than um, like a supplement. And so it's supposed to help promote a good night um, sleep and just be really relaxing. So I just put this on my legs every single night before I go to bed. So that is my evening routine here that I've been doing the last several weeks, um, preparing for labor and just help relaxing before I go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe already if you haven't. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.